What's up, you guys? It's your girl, Spiritual Boss Lady 33, coming back to you with another reading for Libra for the month of August, from the 18th to the 24th. Please like, share, and subscribe. You guys, if you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. And if you're already part of the Bell Lady family, I love you, I love you, I love you. You guys, this is a general reading, a general reading, which means it will not resonate with everyone. If it does not resonate with you, it's probably not for you, okay? Okay. All right, so let's jump right on in for Libra for the month of August from the 18th to the 24th. You guys, can you leave me comments down below? Okay, guys, I always respond. If it resonates with you, please lash that like button. All right, guys, for Libra for the month of August from the 18th to the 24th. All right, Libra, you have the Sun card. Let's see if we can put this as far over as possible. For Libra, the month of August, from 18 to the 24. All right, Libra, you have two of wands. of Pentacles. All right. You have the Seven of Wands. You guys, a lot of time when you hear me pause or you see me pause when I'm picking up the cards, it's because I'm looking at the cards to pill to feel the energy from off of the cards, okay guys? All right. Uh, you have the Seven of Swords. All right. And you have the Hangman. Well, we'll put them, put them here. death card and you have the ten of cups okay Libra so let's jump right on in your first card up was the Sun and the Sun card speaks to fun success abundance happiness okay guys but the Sun can also speak to something being illuminated when you look at the sun card, if you notice, she's staring up at the sun and things are illuminated. Everything is bright. She can see everything, okay, for what it is. And then she has the two of wands, okay? And the two of wands can speak to a choice between two. It can speak to a sudden departure. It can speak to a decision that has to be made. It also speaks to perhaps you want to travel, okay? And the choice between two places that you might have to travel to. And then you have the Knight of Pentacles. And the Knight of Pentacles speaks to a solid, stable offer coming in. Perhaps a lump sum of money, okay? Perhaps a new car, a new house. Okay, it, it, it's a new offer of stability, but that night is the slowest moving night in the deck. So it feels as if it's taking forever to come in and it will not come in. And the next card you have up, guys, is the Seven of Wands. And the Seven of Wands speaks to being on a defense, standing ready for battle. 
if you look at all of these cards, guys, if you look at this card, you see all of those wands are being pointed at her, and she's trying to build a bubble of protection around her, okay? All of these things are coming at her, and she's defensive, and she's trying to build a bubble of protection around her by meditating, by grounding herself, by putting herself in a better headspace, okay? And then you had the Seven of Swords, okay? And the Seven of Swords is lying, cheating, sneaky, stealing, deceptive, somebody trying to get away with something. If you look at this card clearly, he's in the middle of the night, okay? Look at this card clearly, guys. He's in the middle of the night. Look at the birds looking at him. He's walking off into the middle of the night, and he has a sword in his hand. He looks like he has one of the babies in his, his pocket, okay? Or maybe another bird or something along those lines or yeah. he's stealing he's sneaking off into the middle of the night see he has a sword okay he's trying to escape something perhaps being manipulative perhaps trying to get away with something perhaps okay but whatever it is guys it's putting you in a hangman position a stuck stagnant uh feeling okay it's putting you in a hangman position where you feel like you have to pause for a minute and get yourself together it's too much for you okay you want to let go it's sacrifice it's pausing surrender okay and it's putting you in this rebirth position this death position okay this transformational position okay but death card can also speak to endings okay and then you have the ten of cups okay and the ten of cups speaks to happy family the ten of cups speaks to harmony happiness marriage okay alignment so when I look at all of these three all of these cards together uh, Libra I feel like okay something has been brought to your attention something has become been brought to your attention and you can say to me boss lady something has been illuminated to me which is making me want to make a choice I have a person coming into me or a person that I'm interested in but perhaps they move, they live away from me. Perhaps they're far away from me. Okay. I also have, or well, I also could have a situation where this person is, is, is acting as if they're going to give you a commitment. Or they're going to buy you a house, buy you a car. But they're taking their slow, sweet time. Libra at the end of the day when I look at this reading I feel like spirit is saying to me in order to get your ten of cups in order to get your happy family happy uh, life to be in alignment to where you want to be in order to get that you have to go through this transformation right now you're in hang mode position because of this lying cheating sneaky person okay I don't want to get too crazy I know it we shouldn't say bad words so someone have been lying cheating sneaky and getting away with something trying to get away with something but you're at a defense you're ready to do battle you're not settling for that kind of energy anymore after this thing has been illuminated to you now you're making a choice it's a difficult choice but it's a choice perhaps even moving away Perhaps traveling for a while to, to earn or to, 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 to step into your new transformation. Or perhaps you could say to me, boss lady, I traveled and I saw that a mate that I was dealing with was being lying, cheating, and sneaky. Now I'm at the defense. I'm in a hangman position. 
But Spirit is saying to me, in order for you to get a transformation, in order to get to your, excuse me, not to get a transformation, but in order to get to your Ten of Cups, you have to go through this transformation. Okay? Sometimes in life, guys, we have to realize that everybody does not have our best interests at heart. I don't know who that message is for, but it's for someone. Not everybody has our best interests at heart. Okay? Sometimes people are lying, cheating, and sneaky, and you have to defend yourself. You have to defend yourself. You see how she's building a bubble of protection around her against people that are lying and cheating and sneaky. She doesn't want that energy around her anymore. She wants to go through this rebirth. Okay? So Aquarius, that has been your reading. Please let me know what's going on. Okay, guys? Love and light, guys. Have a blessed and beautiful day.